Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans, welcome along to the second day of my look at the new 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdrivers. And today it's the turn of the single button version and here it is in its box. Like the other two, it's made from a transparent plastic tube with the new Doctor Who logo on the bottom and what it is written in yellow below with a single button version in brackets below that. It now features one button operation for open and closed positions as well as spring loaded extending action and there's an image of the Sonic in its fully extended mode. The window is huge, so shows off the Sonic very nicely, and as you can see it's displayed in its semi-open pose to make the packaging a little bit shorter. Behind it we get this kind of generic pink design, but that's neither here nor there. And finally on the back we get a ton of legal guffs and battery information, and this is interesting, an underground toys logo, but more on that later. So that's it for the packaging, so let's move on and take a look at the Sonic itself. Okay, so here we have the 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Now, just like the other two screwdrivers released, it's pretty much superficially identical to the original 2010 character options release. So it has the four claws around the emitter, which don't quite fully close in, but they seem to be tighter than the basic release, but not by much. The main body of the Sonic is the same thing we've seen since 2010, so there's not much point going into too much detail on it. The buttons on the handle are the same, although the second circular button seems to be wider and flatter. A big difference this time around is that the toy no longer features a hinge on the end cap, so naturally it can't be removed nor opened, as it's all just one solid piece now. So for detail, it's what you've come to expect. Turning to features, well, pressing that lower button on the handle activates the lights and signs. It's your basic character option sound chip, so you get the cycle between the higher and lower pitched sonic signs. As well as the two hidden signs, which are accessed by pressing the button three times. Or four times. And again, just like the other versions, the light in the emitter glows a bright green and reacts in sync with the frequency of the noises the screwdriver emits. Pressing the larger button at the top of the handle flicks the screwdriver up and opens the claws. It again features a very powerful spring so opens very quickly. This reveals the green core running up the middle, where they have done a better job at hiding that exposed wire which runs up into the emitter LED, but you can still sort of see it. Oh, and the activation button from the Sonic's closed position is now visible. Because that matters. Anyway. If you know anything at all about these character sonics, you'll know that the big problem with them was that the button on the handle didn't activate the lights and sounds when in open mode. You had to use the red button behind the hatch on the end cap, which was really dumb. Fortunately, this release corrects that problem, so pressing the same activation button on the handle activates the toy's electronic features. This is a fantastic idea, and makes the operation of the toy so much easier and closer to how it works in the show. Then again, that's kind of like saying your dad has grey hair, so he vaguely looks like Peter Capaldi. Unfortunately, the button only works when the Sonic is fully extended or fully closed, but that doesn't really matter due to the spring only allowing the toy to remain in these two positions. Changing the batteries is easy enough, just like the original release, extend the Sonic and twist it, which will allow you to split it in half where the battery compartment is revealed. And if you take a look inside the handle, you can see what makes this Sonic work in extended mode. The panel on the back of the activation button has been extended, so it matches up with both the button above the battery compartment and the button below. Doing a size comparison, the 12th Doctor Sonic is the biggest of the lot of Sonic toys released, while as I said earlier, it's practically identical to the other two currently on the market. So overall, what do I think of this screwdriver? Well, the ability to use it in extended mode without having to press the red button on the bottom is a major improvement, but maybe I would be more impressed if this was released four years ago. Honestly, what with the countless Sonics re-released by character, they couldn't take the time to make this one little change in four years? They had to wait until we got a new Doctor before they'd even consider revisiting its design? I mean, let's take a look at my first review of this toy way back in 2010. One problem I do have with it is whenever it's clicked open in this mode, you can't use that button to activate the light and sound effects. I'd much prefer it if they had another button down there, so if you pushed it, it would still light up. It was one of the first things I suggested should be added to it. And if they had done this, I wouldn't have destroyed so many Sonics trying to modify them. Is it a decent enough toy in the end? Well, yes it is. But it suffers from that all too important, too little, too late factor. Plus, I really wish they would drop the spring-activated feature, as the spring used here is far too powerful and causes damage to the release button over time. Simply removing the spring would allow kids to flick it out, just like in the show, and remove that potential for damage at the same time. And finally, remember how I mentioned the Underground Toys logo at the beginning of the video? Well, that makes this an international release, meaning this toy is much more widely available in places such as America or Australia rather than the UK, which is just a joke in my opinion. 
So overall, it's a great, much needed update to the screwdriver, but its unavailability in the UK means many fans will have to pay through the nose to get it, which is a real shame and yet another major letdown from character. Uh, so that brings us to the end of this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to stay subscribed for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye. Okay,